Hi there. So we're going to learn about buttons next. On most of the templates that I have and designed, there are buttons, which are really great. Uh, they're a very um, easy way to link to other pages within your website or to external pages um, that maybe you're in network marketing or you have another website that you want to link to. Buttons are a great way to do that. So I'm going to show you how to edit buttons, change the links, and you can add them to your site. You can, uh, it's an element you can also delete if it's somewhere on your template that you don't love where it is. So um, yeah, let's get started. This here, when you hover over it, it will say button. So you'll know that it is a button and not a text box. So you'll select it and it'll pop up the button menu where you can change the text. So if you want your button to say button, if not, you could say, you know, your text here, whatever you want it to say, um, you can type in there. And then if you want it to link to somewhere, if you don't link it, it just is kind of acts like a dead button and it just stands there and it won't click and go anywhere. So if you want to link it, hit add a link. And here are all your options of where you can link buttons. So you can select a web address and paste it there. Again, I highly recommend having that pop open in a new window. So that way that you don't lose customers completely from your site and they have to backtrack. Um, you can also link it to a page. Here, if you select this, you can go to any page on your current website and you can select and it'll link to that page. Um, if you have a document maybe that you want it to like download now, um, you can say that you can select a document and you can choose a file, um, email, phone number, all these good things. So there's lots of different options here. So, um, currently they're all set for none, you know, but you can go in here and change them at any time. Additional settings for your button is you can change the look and feel of it. So if you go to the next part here, you can say um, layout. And if you want your text aligned left, right, um, and if you adjust the margins, that'll kind of adjust it whichever direction you need it. Typically, I have buttons set at center, but this is if you want to customize your site further. You can also go to the design button and this here you'll see um, when it says my buttons, those are typically buttons that have been used on the website that you're currently in. There are some other um, buttons here that if you like them, you can select them and they're kind of pre designed for you or you can fully customize your design by clicking customize design and you can choose what type of button you want up here. Typically, I stick with the first one because that gives you the option for the um, there's an outside border and an inside fill color. Some of these other options do not offer that. So if you stick with that, you'll be able to adjust the border. You can change the color, how wide you want it to be. As you can see, the purple's adding here. Um, you have, if you want corners, if you want it rounded, you could just type in a number there and it'll round all the corners for you. Um, maybe if we do like 15. So as you can see, it creates a rounded button there. If you want a shadow, you can hit enable shadow and that gives a little bit more depth to it. You can change the angle of your shadow by doing this and also the distance of your shadow, as you can see, um, and then this will move it around wherever you want. So additional settings that you can enable here. Finally, you have your text where you can change your text color and you can change uh, the font here, the font size, if you want it bold, italicized. So I would go in your regular and that's basically what your button will look like at all times. If a customer hovers over your button, like they're gonna click it. So your pre-click, this is where you'll go over to hover and you can change the text color, you could change the porter and you can change the fill color. So if you want it to change slightly from Maybe it's a black fill and then when someone hovers over it, you want to change it to a peach fill. That's what it'll look like so that they know that they're hovered over it pre-click. So that is how you do some of your button designs there. The only other thing, if you want to quickly change the link, you can hit link and it'll pop up this box that we already reviewed or if there's any animation that you want it to do um however you know just be mindful of some of the animations you know it can kind of bog down a site if you do too many so i usually don't set these in my site or my templates um, i try to keep things very clean modern easy to navigate and so that the site loads as fast as it can so yeah that's a review of buttons i hope this was helpful for you